something they've already seen. They're not going to, you know, go through this motion of restarting the investigation. It could be, you know, asked and answered. They've already covered it. I think it is something that is quite significant and, and something that's going to take them a period of time to go through to figure out what have we already seen, what have we not seen, how do we assess that, and how did we not know about this before? Were there false statements made? And if so, by who? Was there obstruction? If so, by who? And I think at that point, he, he felt obligated to tell Congress, and the director feels very seriously about congressional oversight. He felt like he's made that representation. He's been beaten up for the oversight, in the oversight. Mm -hmm. And now we, you know, he's in the eye of a hurricane. You know, the, the political winds from the right battered him for the last couple of months. There was a brief eye, and now that other wall is coming at you, and those winds turn in the other direction. But do you and think, now we're Ron, hearing it from the other side. I listened to, you know, these Republicans for months prior to Comey's decision say, we trust Comey. He's a straight shooter. We're going to, we're going to, will abide by whatever he decides. And then, it's, of course, as soon as he decided not to prosecute her, they were like, Comey sucks. He's terrible, right? And now they're saying he's doing the right thing.